this problem, we're going to sketch the graph of this hyperbola. So we know it's a hyperbola because of the minus sign and of the x and the y being squared. So the first thing you want to do in a problem like this is identify the center of the hyperbola. So to find the center, we just switch the signs. So there's a negative here, so it becomes a positive. There's a positive here, so it becomes a negative. So that's the center of the hyperbola. The next thing you want to do is find a and b. So a is always the square root of whatever is here. So a is equal to the square root of 4, which is equal to 2. And b is equal to the square root of 9, which is equal to 3. So we found the center by switching the signs. a is always the square root of this number. b is always the square root of this number. The next thing to note is that because the x comes first, it opens left and right. If the y comes first, so like if it had a y squared here and a minus and an x over here, then it would open up and down. It's pretty easy to memorize. x comes first, opens left and right. y comes first, opens up and down. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our graph. I'll do it over here. So we'll draw the y-axis. We will draw the x-axis. All right, so the center is 1, negative 2. So from the origin, we'll go right 1 and down 2, and there's our center. And because it opens left and right, you go left and right by A. So 1, 2, put a dot. 1, 2, put a dot. Then you go up and down by B. So 1, 2, 3, put a dot, 1, 2, 3. So again, because it opens left and right, we go left and right by A. If it opens up and down, then you go up and down by A. And then the other direction by B. So let's go ahead and make our little box. So now you make a box. This box has a name. It's called the fundamental rectangle. Then you draw your asymptotes like this. And then you know it opens left and right, and this point here is on the hyperbola, and so is this one, so it's going to look something like this. And that would be the graph. That's it.